Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'll be going over the new V13.20 update and everything you need to know about it. Whoever can comment update the most will get a shout out in the next video. If we can get 50 likes on this video, I'll make a video tomorrow and start uploading more consistently. 80% of you are not subscribed to the channel and we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. So every subscriber really makes a difference. With all that being said, let's just get straight into the video. So, the V20 has quite a few interesting additions to the game. I'll be going over the patch notes and other things you will all be excited to hear about. Epic Games have confirmed this update, the V13.20, to be coming very soon. And the first thing I'll be talking about is the new Flare Gun. The Flare Gun was discovered back in Chapter 1 of Season 9 and added to the Code Justice Season for this patch update. If you don't remember, it was shown in the World Cup as a teaser. What else is coming in the next update, may you ask? A number of leaks have just popped up this season dropping, including bugs that Epic are set to fix in this following update. Going back to the flare gun, stats have revealed after the last season 3's update, its reload time will be 1.5 seconds and it will have 6 bullets in its magazine and it will also deal up to 60 damage with a direct hit. So I believe that's either a normal body shot or a headshot, but we'll have to find out. Leaks also show that the water levels will go down throughout the season, meaning we should find some more popular points of interest and locations that are hidden under the map and under the water as of now. We could even expect an Aquaman Atlantis area to be revealed after the water levels fall. Leakers have said it's currently under the waves right now and we should see it very, very soon. In terms of bug fixes, they have fixed and adjusted a few things which I should show on screen while explaining right now. The first one is lock input method as mouse, does not lock the input method. Missing styles for the specialist pickaxe and a Roy pack back bling. Rage, emo, fire effect remaining on or near players and sandstorm outfit missing hair. So this is just general bug fixes for cosmetics, but this one is for the actual battle royale game. Party assist update. Replays not saving on PS4. Slow glider speed after redeploying to so the glider bug which has been in the game for so so long. So thank you that they finally updated it and changed it. XP bar can be visually incorrect in the game so it should be correct now. Full damage from zip lines while landing in the shallow water. Damaging marauders counting towards storm surge, chug splashes don't heal when thrown inside of a bush, and finally, supply drops may push loot under the map. That was it so far for the update. There are also lots of cosmetics that will be added into the game that you should see very soon, which I may make another video going over. I have just started my Discord server. We have almost got 100 members, so all the support on that Discord server would mean the world to me. It has meant a lot for all the people that have joined it. I give out roles like admin, chat mod, and so much more. And I'll be explaining more in another video at the end of the video. So I'll pin the comment to my Discord. If you guys would like to talk to me or do whatever, then make sure to go check it out. And you could potentially be the 100th member. If you would like more videos like this, then make sure to smash that like button. If we can get 50 likes, I'll make consistent videos every day. Also, do not forget to subscribe with the notice on. And I hope you're all having the best day. Peace out. But that's alright. Hush.